Stephanie again from My 7 Worlds. So today I want to talk about our environment. How does it affect us? Why is it important to keep it positive and minimize the negative? And obviously, how do you recognize what's good and bad for you? What I mean under environment is our workplace, our friends, our family, everything that surrounds us and has a direct impact on us. I bet you have something negative going around you without even knowing. I even fired friends who I've been friends with for over 20 years because I felt that we reached an expiration date and it was giving me more stress than value so I decided to end it. I was holding on to the friendship because it lasted 20 years. It is hard to say goodbye to someone who's been there from the beginning but then again one day I was observing my feeling. How do I feel about her? How do I feel when we talk? How do I feel when we don't talk? And I realized that the less we talked, the better I felt. And yeah, we've been through good times that I will always cherish, but unfortunately, she couldn't be part of my present. So it is important to choose our friends wisely because it matters how we spend our time and who we spend it with. I used to have friends that they were really depressing and we basically just spent the whole day complaining about things. And I generally had low energy because I was hanging out with the wrong kind of people. Now I choose my friends carefully. I surround myself with people who I look up to, but also I make sure that my social time matters and I benefit from it and it brings me value and the more I learn the more I can give but let's say at your workplace you have a few colleagues you really don't like but what you can do about it is to minimize the interaction but this is where I use the combination of communication and selective hearing because if let's say someone is always complaining then I try to initiate a conversation and ask positive questions so what was the best thing that happened to you today? What was the great thing about your weekend? What was your last success at work? And then the conversation starter is something positive. It can still turn into negative, but I, I try to take control. If this fails, because obviously it can, then I, I honestly tell the person that I understand that you have these problems, but today I'm feeling low energy and I really can't handle negativity. So please, can we come back to this tomorrow? Just explain how it makes you feel. I feel that as long as I'm patient and understanding and communicate exactly how I feel and what I mean, I can minimize the damage other people's negativity does to me. Then of course it's possible that none of these work. But I can still choose to engage in certain conversations or not. Even if you can eliminate all the negativity, you can minimize them to some extent. The goal is not to completely avoid it, but to reach a level where you can handle it without it negatively affecting you. Now with family it's a different problem. Depending on your upbringing and your relationship with your family, society's expectations your culture, you might feel that because you share the same blood, you have to love and accept the people you call family. This is not exactly my approach because I feel that respect needs to be earned. And if I spend time with someone, I want to make sure it's quality. So even if it's family, but it's bringing me down, I try to limit it. Unfortunately, with my mother, we used to have big problems because after her divorce, she went through a five year, very deep depression. And because I involved myself too much, Obviously, I wanted to help her and I also felt guilty for not being there for her every time she called. It broke me down and I ended up being depressed for six months. So sacrificing myself too much backfired, which is why I decided to have a different approach and prioritize myself a little bit more. We communicated with my mother for a very long time because obviously change takes time and because she was so used to having me around all the time and I was always available. When I said no, it shocked her. Of course, she started pointing fingers at me. She felt left alone. She started blaming me. This is just perfectly normal for depressed people but I had to learn to handle that sort of negativity. So our little family tragedy climax when I decided to cut contact with my mother for a very long time, but I did this for me, not against her. And this is what took her a long time to understand, that I make my decisions for me and not against her. We approached our communication in many different ways and it took a long time, but we finally reached a new routine that doesn't damage our relationship and I can protect my emotional health while being there for her. But environmental negativity doesn't always come from people it can come from habits or possessions for example let's talk about the apartment I believe the place that surrounds me reflects who I am and, and it speaks for me so if someone came up to my apartment and found dirty dishes socks lying around dirty corners and stains on throw pillows what would that person think of me how would you perceive me if that's what you saw but at the same time how does it affect
affect me. I don't even respect myself enough to clean up after myself. I'm just not bothered that filth surrounds me. So that is also a negativity. And maybe I'm not even aware how it affects me, but it does. Also, in order to elevate my mood, I love to use colors, for example. And before, when I was going through my depression, I didn't know how to identify all the negativity around me. But then I was observing those who I thought were happy. What surrounds them? What do they eat? How do they dress? How do they walk? Who are their friends? Who do they work with? And then little by little, I realized that I surrounded myself with all the negativity because I was negative. It was just easier to blame everything everyone else around me to say things like oh I'm just unlucky or my circumstances are not right I'm not privileged but then I realize I have the power to choose who where what when how so first I looked around do I like my friends where do I live am I enjoying my job am I in the right relationship and surprisingly I got a lot of no's so one by one I started changing now I choose my friends carefully I no longer fool myself by being in a relationship that's not good for me but I always start with a simple question does this give me any value if the answer is no I stop what I was doing because sooner or later it's going to damage me so I hope you guys find this video very useful. If so, please share and subscribe to my channel because more awesome videos are coming. All right, everyone, have an awesome day. Bye.